So, <coughs> let's see. Right. I want to just gradually bump up everything a little bit. But also bump up our core skills, dialogue, and stealth. And then also I think, I think we'll keep bumping up the ranged weapons as well. Because we've got Parvati for tech. She's, she's pretty good at that. So, well for engineering at least. So I think, oh actually though, science. I could do with get science up. But we'll definitely need to fight so. Yeah, we'll keep, we'll put one in there and apply that. Yes. Then we've got perks. Oh, that's not the right one. This is the right one. There we go. Perks. What do we have here? One available. Toughness, slow the world, lone wolf, strider, cheetah, maintenance. Take better care of your weapon and armor than most people. Hmm, maybe. Precision. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench's sight alignment tool is much more accurate. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Carry weight is always handy. Eh. Uh. Hmm. I think we'll negotiate. Um, what we'll do is we might get that so that we have less durability loss. Yeah, we'll get high maintenance. There we go. Done. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And you don't have anything yet, I don't think. So we'll go with that. Now, I was looking around town to see if there's anything I've missed. Now, I've literally just like an hour ago, or a couple of hours ago, seen that I have missed something with her, but I can't do it anymore. So we'll just skip that. I've got some time. I can't do that anymore, so that's fine. Uh, but I, almost lost a finger in the cannery today. I also saw oh, that, that I'm supposed I've to have done this. Been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. Oh, no, come in there, fine. Just pull this. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations, and the fourth one's free. Nice. Um, uh, let's see. Got some questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. I'm not talking about Phineas. Um, so who do you work for? Spacer's Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Also okay. known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Uh... So you're basically a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Okay. Was there something to report? Uh, if you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a spacer's choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Beep. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. 
I'll keep the other fingers for myself then. Very generous of you. I can be pointing at everything. Uh, anything interesting here? Oh, yes. Terminal. Bounty records. Welcome, com Constable Reyes. That isn't me, but okay. Open bounties. Query. Gilliam Antrim. Am I saying that right? I'm not sure. Might be Guillaum or something. This is... Is this the same stuff as on the board outside? Ah, anyway. He's wanted. He's wanted. I'm getting him. That's it. Oh, hang on. Is this free ammo for me? Is this for me? No. Damn. Is there anyone in here? Hiya, Phineas. Wanted. Phineas V. Wells for various crimes and violations of board policy, including any or all of the following. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. Well done. Goodness. I quite like the posters. I'd have these posters, I think. Oh. Funny primals. Right, okay, is there anything else in town that I've missed? Been there. Where did I come from? Did I come from over here? Almost lost There's a finger the cannery. There's this place. What's this? Maintenance division. This is where the magic happens. Oh, well, this is your bit. Science. But it still happens. This is your house, is it? Goodness, who's turn? Uh, welcome, Holcomb P. Is that your surname, Holcomb? Uh, trouble ticket six five five six five. Uh, by Thompson R. Summary: A G loader serial. Number zero zero two three seven four five failure on startup. Uh, oh, the steps reproduce. <laughs> steps reproduce. One turn on engine. Two try it again. Three try it again. Four kick the loader. Five curse injured toes. Six I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Seven try it again. Eight it makes a rattling noise. Uh, maintenance notes. Dang it, Clancy. I just got you back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Sounds like this sounds like his stator's off axis again. We'll clean out and reset. Clancy's guts got caught got caught and all pulled out. Likely on account of somebody trying to restart him over and again. Need to rewind all the coiling in number four. K stator's working, but there's something else off. Have to wait until it's quiet and spin him up for a listen. Oh, poor Clancy. It's this one. Ticket 65587. Also, Tops Failure of main cannery production line at heat processing. Uh, steps to reproduce. One st <coughs> start startup production line according to schedule S 467 01A. Two, observe processing of cans. Three, follow first batch to heat processing stage. Four, one or more loud popping noises. 5. Smoke. Smell of burned salt tuna. 6. Overheat klaxon on monitor 6. 7. Flames jet from exhaust ports. 8. Automatic shutdown. Maintenance notes. Likely as not, Bess got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again. 
heading over now. Let's pass the cannery. And trouble ticket to 65588. So just the one after. This issue has been open for zero days. Uh, this is Thompson R. Trouble ticket filed by Miller L. Oh, Ludwig! Alright, okay. Steps to reproduce. One, look northwise. Two, I said look northwise, blasted useless translator. Three, near scrap pile. Four, could be northeast from town, I guess. Five, observe mechanical. Six, clanking about all menacing like. Seven, see it. Eight, it's right there. Maintenance notes. No notes on the sticker yet. Oh, that was the one. That was uh, uh, Jeremy. Right, exit. Okay. Okay, so this is your workshop. Your workshop. Parati. Uh, here's your fridge. Do you mind if I take uh, take it down hey, for us? I mean, if you need it, okay. It d well, I can put it back if you want, but mm, it's your house. Ooh, we sofa, we strangely shaped sofa, but okay. What's this bit for? Is it for putting the little table in? You can sit either side of it. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, you've got an upstairs. You didn't tell me you had an upstairs. A uh, little storage room. Ha. Ah. Is this your front door? Ah, that's your front door. Stairs. It's quite nice in here actually. It's quite a lot of space. Wouldn't mind this. Another fridge. You've got why have you got two fridges? I could open up a can of something. Aye, uh, why not? Oh. Well, you're gonna be coming with me anyway, I expect. What with you being a companion and all. So let's just take all of your stuff with us, eh? How's that? How's that for a thing to do? Right. Something here? No. This one. Oh, you like flowers? This one. I can't find many kinds around here. Well, they're quite nice. Hey, flowers are all right. There's like I like the leafy plants. They're they're good. If you need to go, I'll wait outside. Oh, thank you. Uh. Okay, where's the flush on this thing? Oh, it's probably automatic. Right. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, wash my gun as well, apparently. Well, hygiene, very important. But did you stand staring at the door all that time? Well, that doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. My dad's oh, this is... It's an office. Just my office. This your dad's office. Was this your dad's office? Of course it's yours now, but I I should probably ask you about that, shouldn't I? What with us working together and all. Let's see. Robert Halcom Holcom. <sighs> Young Spacer's Guide to Mechan Mechanical Engineering. Searching. One record found. Uh, open last entry. I sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud. From habit. It's been ten years but I still have parts of it memorised. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work, into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. Open last search. Well, 
last search in Indomati. Indomati. Is that a name? First entry. <coughs> Indomati left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me, as I'll look up and think of you. Transcript note. Robert. They wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date when she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on the 7th of July. Make her feel special when I, when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Indomati. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay, we're definitely talking. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, the f how do you end up behind me the whole time? Where are we headed? Uh, I noticed you mention your dad a lot, but you ne but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. He did, but you don't remember. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting mechanical computers. The contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Oh. Well. Oh. Is that normal? Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Mm. Thomas seems very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. I don't like think a puppy, he's kinda. just interested in that. <laughs> Are you sure he nearly fell over when he saw you? He never told me a word to that effect. And, and since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about okay. engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. I uh, have something bar? else. When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Uh, not a lot, really? Now and then? It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Oh, that's not their hearts, that's their stomachs emptying. Uh... Maybe so. But we don't think on it that way. No, and the company takes advantage of you because of that. <sighs> okay, let's go. Ooh, what balcony you've got? What a spaceship. Okay, let's actually let me have a look. Is there anything I can see from here that I want to know about? Um, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so just need to. Look around town a bit more, see if I can see anything I've missed. Hang on, if I look at the map, 
That should help. But, okay. It's not a huge place. Um, that is a vending machine. There's two vending machines there and there. Cantina, general store. Uh, this place, workshop place. Well, you know what? It doesn't look like there is anything else. Unless there's something down one of these alleys that I've not noticed. Which is entirely possible. Oh, like these things. Goodness. Who's left all of this lying about? Some no good person. I'd better pick them up and make sure that they don't get used for for wrong. Which I definitely, definitely not use them for. See, this looks like a jumping puzzle here. <laughs> like, a really simple one, but... Where do I go from here? Can I get on that thing? No? Hmm. Right, well, uh, I think that's it for town, really. I think we're done here. Which means I am going to go and. Hang on. I'm going to go and get those bounties first. Ah. Uh, so, digits, the front engineer. Oh, I've got that book. I'll give you that back first. And then I'll go and get the bounties and then I'll come... No, then I'll go to the geothermal plant, do that, I'll come back here, get the thing I need, go to my ship. Brilliant. Done. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So, right, never mind. Going to Plant Town. To the, the, uh, the botanical place. Is there a stamina bar? I haven't noticed one. I think I can just keep sprinting. As long as someone doesn't shoot me or something. Which would be a really handy ability in real life. from this being the case. That might not be a good idea. Oh goodness, what a time for the battery to say it's low. Oh goodness. Oh. Where? Oh there. Goodness. Right. Right. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here. Nothing more, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go in this because there were ones here before and if those ones have respawned maybe these ones have as well mm -mm. honestly every time I start I start getting hiccups I don't know if you can hear it but I can definitely feel it
does see them. Maybe the ones up here are here though. Maybe they're in doors. Anyone? No. Shall we go around the back anyway? Just in case. Just in case they show up. I don't see them. Okay. Let's start running again. Oh. Hello? Are you up here? Did I open this before? I think I did, but great work. Oh. Scorched journal. <coughs> After sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple of days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. However, upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all of these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build their mechanicals with custom tool custom tooled parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all these mechanicals to run efficiently. I'll I'll tool around with things and see uh, I'll tool around for things for a bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together. But I still don't have it down to an exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times, and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds, and the damn thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and giving it a few more good wax. That'll learn it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Can I... is there nothing on here? Plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Are they good? Are they good? Do you want a plasma rifle? What's this thing? Armor parts. Okay, I've been in here before. This is this is just this bit. Uh, and the botanic garden should be up there somewhere. Yes, botan botanical lab, sorry. Okay, Thomas, I think I've got your book for you. What are you want in this? Here you go. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Hi, actually. Today's your lucky day. No kidding. Really? The but which last one? one. Elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Hmm. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. <clears throat> That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Maybe um, actually. Aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption okay. I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Electrocharged surface. Interesting. 
Okay. Ooh, saving. Right. Let's see. Is that what I'm wearing just now? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it must be. Um... Well, if I were to... Okay. Hang on. Well, that would make it better, but it's not the surface thing. Electrocharged surface. Yeah. Skill kit. Skill kit. Okay, yeah. Put that in. Yes. Uh else? No? Okay, cool. Um, right. Extend a sight. Already got extend a sight. Don't need that. Uh, this one. Whisper quiet muzzler. Do I have that already? No. what do I have on it? Put no. Okay, yes, do that. Okay. There's also this one. Increases critical damage. Install this modification until the slot current will be destroyed. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Okay. Uh, nothing for this one. That one. Nothing for that one. No. Okay. Okay. This, this plasma rifle, though, seems pretty good. Yeah, hang on a minute. Extend a sight. Oh. Oh, actually. Okay. How about I put that in? Yeah. Yes. So, um, I don't actually know what I want to take out. Can I, hang on, can I just repair everything? Repair all equipped? Yes. Um, oh goodness, not that. This. Uh. Hmm. Can I give you, like, this plasma rifle, maybe? What have you got already? No, you've got those already. They're better. Huh. Hmm. Do the helmet. There you go. Uh, and... Seven. Nine. This. There you go. Okay. Cool. Don't have any park points available. That's your behaviour, right? Okay, right, Parvati. Hello. Hope you're enjoying your new gear. <laughs> 